October 5th, 2001. A new scare for Americans just weeks after the September 11th terror attacks. Robert Stevens, a tabloid photo editor in Florida, dies from inhaled anthrax. He's the first of five people to die from anthrax-laced letters, which also infect more than a dozen others in the United States. The cases remain unsolved. 1988. In Omaha, Nebraska, a memorable moment during a debate between two candidates for vice president. Republican Dan Quayle argues he has as much experience as John F. Kennedy did when he was elected president. Democrat Lloyd Benson replies, I served with Jack Kennedy. I knew Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. 1962. Ladies and gentlemen, The Beatles. Love Me Do, the first hit by Rock's Fab Four, is released in Britain. Beatlemania sweeps America more than a year later. 1969. Also in Britain, Monty Python's Flying Circus debuts on BBC TV. The comedy series, with its absurd gags about silly walks, dead parrots, and spam, becomes a cult hit in the United States. And 2001, Barry Bonds of the San Francisco Giants becomes baseball's king of single-season home runs. He hits two homers against the Los Angeles Dodgers, breaking Mark McGuire's record of 70. Bonds ends the season with 73 home runs, still the record, nearly six years before topping Hank Aaron's record of career home runs. Today in history, October 5th, Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.